Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! <clears throat> Final day, 12 hours remain. Sweet. Okay, so let's see here. What are we gonna do with this? Okay. Huh? Oh, Captain, sir! Excuse me, sir! Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm just gonna hurry up and get this text going. Cause I need... He's gonna say the same thing every time. Alright, go ahead and open it up. Yeah, yeah. Did I stutter? I don't think so. Open that sucker up, man. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So this is the one that's a bit perplexing. This is the one that holds... Uh, this is a vessel that holds ghosts or spirits or something, whatever it is. This one, but it is actually a very handy item that you get here. See if we, yeah. Sorry, I had a brain fart there, what I wanted to say and how I wanted to say it. If you come in here, you'll notice Stampede's in here, actually. Mm-hmm. You? <laughs> Who are you? Mm-hmm. I can't see because it's too... Uh, uh -huh. You're not a ghost, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, fairy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a fairy's lie. Mm -hmm. In that case, it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. I came looking mm -hmm. for the royal family's legendary treasure, but my torch's gone out. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but uh, could you walk in front of me and light the way? Mm -hmm. Please. Sure. You will. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, mm -hmm. I'll use your light as I walk. Just lead me to the place where you want, where you think the treasure mm -hmm, chest is buried. I'll even split the treasure with you. Mm -hmm. I'm counting on you. Alright, so what you're going to do with this little event, this is kind of a pain in the butt, because it's a matter of luck, but what you're going to do is you're going to guide Dampy to these little rings of dirt. Dirt. It is a job of dirt. If you don't want it, give it back. No. Do you need help? Okay, yeah, that was kind of a lame moment to do that. Ah, poop. Nothing. Alright. Well, anyway, you're going to keep having them dig in these little pile, round piles of dirt. And hopefully, if you're successful, you'll actually dig up something. It's a little weird what you wind up digging up, but you'll see what it does in a little bit. Oh, come on, man. Two for two. Man. Alright, hang on. Let me angle this here. Oh, that's right. Crap. I can barely hear the music. Barely hear it. Man. Ooh, ugh. Yeah, that thing that I just sliced, that's a wall shadow. And those things are actually hanging from the ceiling in this place. No, you cannot see them if you're looking up. They just randomly start to hover above you, and they make this... You know, like something's like a space shuttle's landing, practically. Ah, there we go. Mm-hmm, some strange here, but mm-hmm, there ain't any treasure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, show me another spot. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. Yeah, as I said, this is completely randomized as to where these little spots that you need to dig for uh, happen to have what uh, I end up digging up. So if you are following along and using this as a guide, which if you are, yay, thank you. If you're not, well, I completely understand. There's a lot of guides out there, and much uh, majority of them are actually a lot better than mine are. Wait, isn't... wait, am I missing something? Oh man, that's a pain. Or right, hang on, you come over here. Come over here, that's right. March your moldy butt over here, man. Heavens knows you probably ain't washed it in ages. Yeah, you dig this here. Yep, 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 dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, 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 Can't remember all the lyrics to the epic song. I ho Oh no. Okay, let's not start that now. Alright, so when you pretty much have them already digging up, or when you have them... Let's try verbs, please. When you've had damp heat dig up all the bottom dirt piles, although it looks like I missed one, what you're going to do is you're going to have them step on those orange platforms. That one over there on the right, or if you're facing the room as you enter it, the one on the left, is going to lead right up here. He's just going to ca casually hang tight on the platform as it moves itself automatically over here. And all you got to do is target him and have him walk over here. It's really easy, actually. It's a little freaky at first. You're like, gee, many Christmas, he's floating. He's a freaking genie, man. A genie. He's a genius. 
by gosh darn G Oh, sweet, there's another one. Yep, there's a second one. Alright. Now, you don't need to really target him to get down, because he'll just fall. He'll jump down himself. Clump. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lose you. Calm down, sir. Jeez. Alright, so... Let's see here. I dug that one up already. Hopefully I don't have to go up over to the right, the right side of the room, because that's gonna be a pain in the butt if I do. Man, I'm gonna have to speed this up. This is a pain in the butt, really. Although I don't want to speed it up too much, because then it just gets really monotonous. Listening to my stupid self. Oh, okay, I've already dug it up. Okay. Well, apparently if you've already dug the spot, he won't actually dig a second time, so I guess that makes it nice so you don't have to worry about accidentally re-digging it in the same spot, you know. To keep constantly doing the same thing over and over and just getting the same result. That's always a good thing. It's kind of like what I did playing that stupid digging game in Ocarina of Time. Which, to this day, I can't believe I still didn't re rec recognize or realize when I was recording the episode. When I was doing Dampy's digging tour thing in Ocarina of Time. I still can't believe I didn't recognize that the heart piece is actually randomly placed somewhere in the graveyard. It's not actually in one set spot. I'm just, I don't know, it amazes me how little I think about some things. Oh, mm -hmm. there's something strange about this spot. Mm -hmm. Want me to dig here? Mm -hmm. As long as you don't charge me ten rubies, we're good. Go ahead and dig. D-I-G. Dig. Holy Jesus, it's a ghost. Ah, oh, it's the leader of the ghost killers! <laughs> okay, that was totally out of character, but... <laughs> I don't think anybody would have any type of speech impediment problem if something like this came after them. So this is Big Poe. It's not really all that bad to fight. Good lord, excuse me, are we going to burp every episode? Oh, ha ha ha, you're going to be funny, aren't you? What you're going to do is you're going to basically hold up your shield when he comes charging at you with a spin attack, or you're just going to casually sidestep out of the way, wherever he's at. Usually he pops up right behind you, exactly. So it's kind of easy to predict where he goes, but as soon as you hit him with an arrow, he will automatically transform, or transform teleport elsewhere in the room. I think it only takes three shots, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh, never mind. Hang on. Please be three shots. Oh, dang, not three shots, my bad. I'm thinking of, uh, Meg, actually. Meg! Meg. Meg. Okay, yeah, sorry. No, not that Meg. Meg from, uh, the pose, basically, the sisters. It only took three shots for her, actually. This one, I think, takes like five or six. Go figure, it's a big Poe. You might as well give it some meat to the bone, you know, or meat to the spirit, one of the two. Looks like the spirit's had a little bit too much to eat, though. Okay, he's dead. We're good. All clear. The ghost is clear! Dampy! Oh, Dampy! Oh, I'm gonna take this. Heck yeah, man. Sweet. It's gonna be some more. Well, actually, no, I don't know why I'm bothering grabbing it. The bank's already filled up, and the only thing I can do with a big Poe is sell it. Or at least so far, that's all I know what I can do with it. Because you can't drink it like you could in the last game. Or sell it to some guy with a freaky stick. Eh, well, let's go ahead and open this chest up. Well, if you're on the right side of it, you can open it up, genius. Hello. Hello, McFly. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Da, da 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 We got an empty bottle, or otherwise known as a vessel. That's right, if you were looking for bottles, there you go. There's your fifth bottle in the game. There's actually one more that we can get, but that doesn't come till a little bit later. So, for those who are still looking for it and are wondering, Where the heck's it at, man? Where's my sixth bottle? I want all six bottles. All in good time, my friends. All in good time. Actually, I think if you come over here... Or is it not over here? It's to the right side, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a giant 50 ruby right there, randomly. For what purpose, I have no idea, but it's there, regardless. Whether you want it or not, it's there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is priceless. I, I, I gotta snap one for the photos, man. That, this, this is priceless. I wish you could actually get a prize for this at the Pictograph competition, but, oh, well. Then again, this is kind of already 
it wouldn't work anyway, but wow. Seriously, check it out. Uh, 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 I ain't seen mm -hmm, nothing. Uh, I don't mm -hmm, know nothing. Damn P. I ain't seen nothing, and I don't know nothing. Damn P. I ain't seen nothing, I don't know. Okay, that's enough of that. Alrighty, so that's pretty much all I wanted to do this episode. Um, you can, as I said before, with the big Poe, you can hold on to it for something else for later. Or you can do away with it however you see fit. Best way to do it, it deal with it is you sell it to the curiosity shop guy, and he'll give you a whopping 200 rupees for it. So that's pretty much all you've got to do in the graveyard of uh, the Eastern Canyon. In the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, wow, this is, wow, I've been recording for a while, I didn't realize how long I was recording. Eh, maybe I'll break it off in like several parts, who knows. Uh, in the next episode, sorry, you're getting me distracted. We are going to continue our trek to the Eastern Canyon, and we are going to deliver a message to the great uh, composer Sharp from his great, com from the equally great composer Flat, otherwise known as the Song of Storms message. So, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> tune in next time. Until then, I'm Silence. I've been your host, Silence in Euro Nine. Thank you again for watching. Love you all very much. Please don't let your tails flap. And as question of this video, or whatever video it happens to be, um, if you were one of, if you had to choose one of the creatures in Eastern Canyon to be, what creature would you choose to be? Even if it was just for one night only, what creature would you choose to be in the Eastern Canyon? Leave it in the comments. Have a great day, and bye bye, y'all. Peace. Oh man, I just farted. Hope nobody heard that. Ooh, dang. It's a smelly fart, too.